26 seconds left on the clock. And Cheryl Reeve called the reset timeout. She made the X motion. So Minnesota advances the basketball without huddling. McBride is fouled by Lloyd. 24.1 seconds to go. A three-point lead. And Kayla McBride, if you're Minnesota, that is the player you want at the free throw line. The best free throw shooter for the Lynx and one of the very best in the league. Let's see if she can make it a two possession game. Last year she was 87% from the line. Oh, boy, that one bounced right out for McBride. In 2021, she had made 38 consecutive free throws. And she missed them both. Boy, that is a rare occurrence for Kayla McBride, a three-point game. Lloyd has it for the tie. A foul on McBride. A three-point shot foul on Kayla McBride after she missed two free throws. Uh, you usually don't see that and from she, Kayla McBride right there. She got Lloyd on the arm. She sure did. And that was just a vet move right there by Jewel Lloyd. Three free throws coming for Lloyd, who hits the first. And she is five of six, now six of seven at the line. The Lynx have had every opportunity to ice this game. And here is Lloyd with two free throws. The third still to come. She can tie this ball game with 15.6 seconds to go. And she does. All three free throws for Jewel Lloyd. And how about that? An 11 to nothing Seattle lead. The Lynx led by 11 points with three minutes to play, and Seattle has completely erased this deficit. And it was their up-tempo defense, their aggressiveness in getting into the paint, and then Jewel Lloyd handling herself on the three-point line and getting herself to the free throw line and nailing all three of them. And just a heartbreaking sequence if you're Kayla McBride to miss both free throws one of the best free throw shooters in the entire WNBA and then come down and foul, foul Lloyd on her three point attempt. Yeah, both of those two possessions just completely uncharacteristic of Kayla McBride, one of the great vets in this league. And now if you're Minnesota with 15.6 to go, what are you doing here offensively? Who do you want to see take a shot? And how early in the shot clock do you want the shot? Well, let's say this. I think Alana Smith has proven that she has been good in this game. She has been good all season in the first two games. Um, so I trust her on the court. I always trust Nafisa Collier. Um, I go early with it. Give yourself an opportunity to get an offensive rebound. We'll see what the Lynx do. Carlton. Gets it in to Courtney Williams. The shot fake lost her defender off the rim. Rebound to Skylar Diggins Smith. And Diggins Smith calls the timeout. Seattle had one timeout remaining. Minnesota does not have a timeout. 9.8 to go. So now Noel Quinn gets to draw up a play for a possible game winning shot. And, and Courtney Williams took it early, you're right, Leah. You said you want to go early, and Courtney Williams shot that with 13.1 seconds on the clock. Yeah, and you were hoping that on the other side of that shot that there would be someone rebounding the ball for you, but that was not the case. And now Seattle has the opportunity to win this one and play spoiler at Minnesota's home opener in the same way that Minnesota did at their home opener. In and it, again, the Lynx led by 11 with three minutes to play. Just couldn't hit the dagger shots, kept turning it over, and Seattle picked up the intensity, never said this game is over, and the Storm have really been impressive showing their fight. In the last three minutes, the Lynx went 0 for 5 from the floor, 0 for 2 from the free throw line, and turned it over twice. And Seattle's... 27 points from the 21 turnovers 
is critical in this game. And, and I mean, Minnesota has its 22 points on their 24 turnovers. So both teams not taking care of the ball. But if you have to look back at this game, if you're Minnesota, you're going to look at those turnovers. Skyler digging Smith with 9.8 seconds left in a tie ball game. Diggin Smith gets it into Lloyd. McBride on her. Jewel Lloyd, six seconds. The dribble, the shot off the rim, and the rebound to McBride. Minnesota does not have a timeout. So Jewel Lloyd with the shot to win it at the buzzer by Seattle goes off the rim, and we'll have overtime in the first game of the season at Target Center. All tied at 78 in Minneapolis.